OntarioLevel.com at Delaware Speedway. Just a couple of races to go here in the season at Friday Night Thunder at the Delaware Speedway. Uh, alongside the driver, the number 44 Superstock, the number 56 truck, Jeff Schaller. Jeff, uh, taking a night off from the truck division tonight to uh, focus on the Superstock a little bit. Uh, turn in some extra laps even though you're not racing tonight. Yeah, we brought a, a different setup with the car that we normally wouldn't run tonight on a regular Friday night. Just something that we want to try. Get it out of the way, stay focused with that rookie program on the 44 and um, take a break from the truck. We talked about bringing it out, but we've done two good races with it this year and we'll just leave it in the garage for another night. Keep focused here with three races to go. Uh, just a couple of races to go, as you mentioned, three to be exact. What are you guys trying to achieve over these last couple of races? Consistency is the big thing for me. I want the car to be comfortable and consistent. Um, if we can get that, then, then we should have good finishes, and then from there we'll, we'll let the points play out where they do. But uh, consistency and uh, just making sure that we have the fastest setup we can get underneath it. Now, this division has really come to life uh, back again over the last year. Talk about some of the drivers that you've been uh, maybe most intensely battling with over the course of the season. There's a lot of good drivers in the Superstock division this year. We got Paul Fothergill, of course, in the 33, uh, Steve Smith in the 84, uh, Matt Robbie, our current points there in the 51, and the list goes on. I mean, these guys are good drivers. They come from different experiences, and uh, it makes it definitely um, a competition to make the challenge even greater, so it's a lot more fun that way. Now, uh, with the season winding down all over the province, uh, do you expect to see this car uh, at any other tracks across the province uh, in the final stages of the season? Uh, we won't. We won't bring this car out to any other track until Delaware season's over. We're going to focus on this rookie program and try to get it out of the way. Uh, we talked about running a Flambro race or two in a couple races like uh, that they have in the later season after Delaware is completed. But um, it's hard to say. I'm getting married this year, so. Uh, we got to focus on that after this Delaware season too. So it's going to be it's going to be tough to make any more racing than than what we're going to do. But we'll be back full time again next year, and maybe with some other stuff coming up too. Well, congratulations to you on that, Jeff. And uh, I know you guys couldn't be here each and every night uh, without the help of a whole lot of sponsors and people. Uh, so I'll go ahead and thank some people for us. Yeah, I got to thank J.R. Fitzpatrick. He, uh, he's a big supporter of the 44 car and uh, Lalonde Machinery Movers. They've helped us out a lot this year. Um, you know, Castrol, Mechanics Wear, Cypress Pete's out of Lambeth, and, uh, you know, you know, family, friends, uh, all the fans who, who support us, um, and, and everybody through the history of our racing program. We got to thank them for sure. Like, you know, can't do it without the help of uh, good people and there's a lot of them here but uh, we could always, we're always looking for more so if you're interested make sure you get in contact with the driver I'm sure they'll they'll help you out and help you can help them out too absolutely so thanks a lot for your time again tonight Jeff and uh, best of luck to you uh, throughout the rest of the season here at Delaware thank you very much for OntarioLevel.com I'm Clayton Johns at the Delaware Speedway